But first, leftoids can't even leftoid properly. California has already asked residents to stop charging their electric cars on a strained grid the week after passing a law to ban gas-powered cars by 2035. I know. I know. Like, what? All right. They are so far in the hole that... <laughs> yeah, you're totally correct. <laughs> All right. So they are at a huge, huge... Uh, they have a huge amount of debt. Just a bit. Uh, and uh, they're losing their tax base because people are leaving the state. Yeah, it's a mass exodus. And so are businesses. And that's why Gavin Newsom has become more and more of a tyrant. I'm going to make you pay state taxes even after you move because that's, that's going to hold up in court. Good luck with that. <laughs> He's such an idiot. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, but that's what they want for this entire country. Yep. They want you to sit in your house, eat the bugs, and own nothing and be happy. Fuck that. Exactly. And that's kind of where the veganism thing comes in. It's uh, that they want you on diets specifically to turn you into slaves to various industries. Or slaves to the state in the case of Cuckafornistan. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like, you know, like all these electric cars... Do you know that almost, uh, was it 70% of them aren't even functioning, the recharging stations? Well, yeah. They've and been shut down. They're coal powered. They're not electric. Yeah, they're coal. Yeah, it's so <laughs> stupid. So, okay, you drive around depositing COT, CO2 everywhere else, and then you get the electric car, and you're not doing that anymore. Oh, but totally. now the CO2 is coming out of a smokestack powered by coal. Well, if if I don't say it, then it doesn't exist. That's exactly how that, they that's think. only applicable in Pop's uh, guide to anti road rage, mm-hmm. which I learned driving us to Philadelphia. Yes, we're driving down the road, and there's this guy pissing me off. He's like swerving in and out of lanes, and we finally pass him. Like once he's behind us, he no longer exists. <laughs> that's my Zen thinking. It, it works. Yeah, it really does. And I, I I'm in the car now with my family. Do to do. Some people yeah. finally pass him up at the light. It's okay. He no longer exists. <laughs> my boy's like, he's right back there. He doesn't exist in my head. He's not there anymore. <laughs> yeah, because listen, some people, like, they get angry at something during the day, and it fucking sticks with them all day long, and it grows and grows, and they go home, and they yell at their wife or something, or whatever. Yeah. They yell at their wife, kick the dog. I mean, you know, whatever. Yeah, that there was like a whole skit on how I met your mother about the, like the, the ass chewing scale and how it goes from from the top of the corporation down to the people at home from the guy who can't yell at anybody at work. Yes, that's wow. Well, yeah, they're absolutely correct. I see it all the time. My uh, mom used to get it from my dad when he came home. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd come home, you know, and scooping him high and got my ice cream. He's sitting there at the counter bitching about it. And like, you all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, sure you are. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing going on here. Nothing to I'm see. I'm totally fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, he, he was he was on to me, but he also knew that I wasn't stupid. Nah, that's good. Well, not clinically. Well, if you weren't fucking your life up and you were, you know, passing your your grades. Yeah, I was an know. all A student. So, and he, what you weren't he, what, you weren't doing it in front of him. And you know, hey, what are you gonna do? Now, I personally would have smoked your bags, but that's just me. <laughs> yeah, I graduated 10th in my class, and the guy who graduated 9th was the biggest pothead in school. Mm-hmm. How you doing, Bill? And, I, and you both would have been PT studs. I already was at that point. I was in martial arts. <laughs> I was I'm getting saying. my ass smoked like three times a week. I'm just saying. Uh, I'll uh, turn you into a triathlete. <laughs> <laughs> Still good to get rid of this pudge, man. Oh, my God. Do they honestly think that this is going to work? I I know that there are a lot of people out there who are stupid enough to think Mm -hmm. that this is sustainable. You know, this is sustainable energy. That they don't really they don't understand where electricity comes from. They don't understand where the batteries are made. How it's done with forced and child labor overseas. I just sent (laughs) you that uh, article about the ten things uh, they don't want you to know about uh, electric cars. Electric cars. Oh, should I look that up right now? We can we can rip into that. Why the hell not? See if it's there. Electric cars. Electric cars. Do 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 do. Not to be... No, that's not it. Okay. Yeah, we'll find another time. Right. Oh, 10 facts electric vehicle advocates don't want you there to know. There There it is. All right, let's check this out. 
Uh oh, I don't even know if we're allowed to use this kind of a source on uh, on YouTube. Why? Oh, it's PJ Media. Oh, Russian disinformation. Mm -hmm. Number one, EVs are powered by fossil fuels. <gasps> no. Yeah. That's why we call them coal powered. Yep. Coal, oil, natural gas create about sixty percent of a nation's electrical grid, while nuclear power accounts for nearly twenty. Mm-hmm. Batteries of EVs rely on cobalt. An estimated 70% of the global supply of cobalt emanates from the Democratic Republic of the Congo, a country with deplorable working conditions, especially for children. I've never been down there, but I've heard it's absolutely reprehensible. Yep. A study released earlier this year by an environmental group showed that nearly one-third of San Francisco's electric charging stations are non-functioning. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was 70%. All right. uh, let's see. Supporters of the California law admit there will be a 40% increase in demand for electricity, adding further strain to the grid and requiring increased costs for power and infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Or you could just move out of the state and tell them to fuck off. Yeah, and they're not going to be able to afford that. No. Uh, five, according to one researcher, the strain of adding an EV is similar to adding one or two air conditioners to your home, except an EV requires power year-round. Mm -hmm. Six, 20 million American families, or one in six, have fallen behind on their electric bills, the highest amount ever. <laughs> Bidenomics, <laughs> this country is better than it's ever been, hmm. says the affirmative action hire who likes to munch rug. Yep. Uh, seven, utility companies will need to add 5,800 in upgrades for every new EV for the next eight years in order to compensate for the demand for power. All con customers will shoulder this cost. Mm. Average price of an electric vehicle is currently $66,000, up more than 13% in just the last year, uh, costing an average of 18000 more than the average combustible engine. Meanwhile, the median household income is $67,521. For African-American families, the average is $45,870. And for Hispanics, $55,321. So nobody can afford this shit? <clears throat> no. I love that. You can't afford gas? Well, buy an electric car, you dingus. Yeah. Did you see that uh, receipt for a new battery pack for Chevy Volt? Well, how much does that one cost? I, I heard with about the guy with the Tesla who blew the car up rather than replace the battery. Yeah, it was but almost thirty grand. Thirty. dollars Grand. Yep. Wow. Just buy another car. Or you can buy several used cars and then you're good for years. As long as you keep them up. Mm -hmm. uh, a 2022 study found that the majority of EV charging occurs at home, leaving those who live in multifamily dwellings at a real disadvantage for charging. 10. The same study also noted that many drivers charge their EVs overnight when the solar power is less available on the grid. Boom. China. All this is is a gambit to send more automobile manufacturing to China. Yep. And uh, probably Afghanistan at some point because they do have a lot of the same rare earth minerals that are going to be required oh, to keep no, this that, shitty pipe It's not going. just Afghanistan. It's all the stands are loaded with crazy minerals. Those damn stands. And I have no idea why Russia abandoned them because they literally left like hundreds of billions of dollars in the earth. <laughs> I have no fucking idea. idiots. Makes but, no sense to me. All right. Sorry. All right. I just, come on. California Stan, really? You think this is going to, this is going to fly? Well, no, it's, it, nothing's <laughs> going to fly because you, you they're not going to allow jet engines either, right? The pigs will fly before this shit flies. Correct. So now, listen, um, <laughs> no, I'm not, listen, I understand the climate is what the climate is. It's always been changing. Always. But I, I'll be the first to admit, we humans are some filthy motherfuckers. Absolutely. All right. We are, we don't have no responsibility for our trash. In fact, we have so, we have so little respect for our environment. Everything you buy at the grocery store comes in disposable packaging. Which is ridiculous. Yes. And, and it really cracks me up, you know. The people who pushed plastic everything forever uh -huh. are now pretending to get on this environmentalist bandwagon. And the reason why they said go to plastic everything and start recycling is because, well, it's real paper. It's it's not sustainable. We got to save the rainforest. Now those same people want paper straws in the restaurants and movie theaters. And you know what? If you want to, you can make all the paper you you ever need from hemp fibers. Yep. You can make toilet paper, clothes. They can even turn it into a, uh, it's, they say, what, F Ford did it, and it, he said it was a direct competition to fiberglass. Yeah. It was even a little cheaper and easier. Wasn't the Declaration of Independence written on hemp paper? Uh, I 
Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's one of the most robust, sustainable plants in the world. And it can grow in conditions that are insane. Yeah. And all of the sailing ships, the head rope, was all hemp rope. Where the fuck do you think that came from? Yep. All right. Yeah, you could grow these plants. Uh, <clears throat> and people who, who use CBD oil. Okay, just, just, you know, public service announcement here. Uh, do not buy it at gas stations. Do not buy it anywhere where they can't tell you where it's from. Because if it comes from, if, it, if it's really cheap, it's going to come from China or Russia. Mm -hmm. In China, they plant it in their tobacco fields. And one of the reasons hemp is so robust is because it can basically soak up and use virtually anything in the ground as fuel to make it grow. Mm -hmm. uh, tobacco plants, not sure if you know, they're c kind of cancerous that can cause problems in humans. And then in Russia, they're planting it at Chernobyl to pull the radioactivity out of the ground. And then they sell that hemp to manufacturers over here wow, to make is... cheap CBD for you. That is insidious. Yeah. Wow. All right, cool. Good on them. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm so healthy. What do you mean I got cancer? Oh, so it's just Russian CBD. Oh, that's great. Uh, I'm, I'm just saying it's ingenious and insidious. I mean, it's. I mean, I, I have to tip my hat got as you. an evil genius. Got Chernobyl in my balls. I totally. Uh, I'm. I, I respect, mad respect. Radioactive cack. <laughs> Shit's gonna fall off. <laughs> what the fuck? You Don't forget do? to dilate your puss holes. Oh. Transformers. <laughs> That's disgusting. Ooh. Uh, fake thoughts in disguise. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat case of books.